the biggest unique points of Muslim Women's Project is that it's the only project, the only shelter for specifically Muslim women. We can receive women from all over the UK to come to our project. There is no other project like ours as of right now. The Muslim Women's Project is a 14 bed shelter for Muslim women who are homeless. Well, to find a hostel that is able to care for people's spiritual needs, but also their housing and social needs, is such a special thing to have in London, but also to live with other women who understand all your needs and be able to kind of socialise in that environment and um, get support from staff seven days a week is really important. If you are quite young and vulnerable and not knowing anything about, about homelessness or finding support elsewhere, that can be quite a traumatising process. So coming in amongst people who are caring, who are friendly, who are um, more than happy to um, spend time with you to understand what it is that your needs are, but also just to um, just to offer some just some support, just an ear to listen. Speaking to some of the sisters who yes. who felt like if this wasn't here, then they could potentially be on the streets, and that's quite a frightening prospect for a lot of people to face. It's been very interesting to see the different women that come to our project. Every woman has her own story, so it could be someone who's 18 years old to someone who's 70. Uh, the age ranges and everyone has different reasons for coming to us. Uh, reasons why they had to leave their home, why they were, were unable to stay at their home any longer. It's been a big learning experience in terms of what women are dealing with today and what circumstances lead them to become homeless and having and to realize how to realize how much our services are needed for for other sisters to access The project is funded by the National Zakat Foundation um, and it is um, run by St Mungo's which is um, a homeless charity. So it's like having four flats on two floors. So we have three, a group of three bedrooms so they share a bathroom and a kitchen with all the appliances that you need for day-to-day -day living and so on. So people are able to kind of meet in the kitchen, so kind of socialise while they're cooking, they're eating and, um, and kind of spend time together during the evening project offers women many things. They can access many services that St. Mungo's Trust offers to its residents, such as uh, assistance with employment, literacy, uh, computer. Uh, as a staff, we are able to key work with our clients and help them with making action plans and making progress to get to a place where they feel safe, they feel better about themselves, they feel that they're ready to stand on their own two feet. We help them become independent and help them move on from the project and we also offer faith-based services at the project as well so we have Quran classes we have Arabic classes we have reflection circles which are other services that we provide uh, on behalf of the staff so I think they get sort of a best of both worlds they get access to services that are related to their faith and they also get services that are related to uh, the practical matters that they need to deal with in their lives. Each woman is assigned um, a key worker within 72 hours of moving in, so they have that constant reference point to come to if they ever need anything, just need to have a chat or fill out application forms, whatever it is, they, they know who the assigned key worker is um, to help them with that. I think the best lesson has been um, working with women who, despite the hardships of life, still have such a firm belief in that, uh, in, in God and in using their faith in God to kind of keep them grounded and, um, and have a hope and a trust that the future will, will be better and that things will get better. As someone who works here, I can tell you that it is making a difference in many people's lives. It is making positive change in their lives and um, it's helping them move forward. And if we can help people in that way, um, I think we should. <laughs>